time for an unboxing. It's uh, by a company called InFinish. Now, I ordered some stuff. What, what I needed was some mandrels for porting my heads. But I got some other stuff too. Empty out the box here. Now, the reason why I ordered mandrels from them, like, they are the cheapest place I have found mandrels online. I think there's something like, well, let's see, every other one I looked at was like 12 to $20 for one mandrel. And I was like, that's, that's high for one little shank of steel that you're really, uh, basically everyone breaks them, you know? And that's the reason why I ordered mine, the one I got with my kid I ordered, it broke. So, I said, nah, I gotta find some other ones. I also ordered some more cartridges or Tootsie Rolls, whatever you would like to call them. You're looking at a box right now. <laughs> I'm emptying the box out. Okay. So, here is what I got. This is a, hold on, let's get this camera focused. There we go. Here is a gigantic block of rouge uh, polishing compound and there's also this green block too which I don't know what the greens called are at all I just know the reds rouge uh, but these are both big giant friggin huge pieces of polishing compound and I got two big old buffing wheels too that's really gonna help but giant rouge giant I think this is jade I can't remember but polishing compound this smells good too uh, a medieval torture device this is actually like a, a cleaner for your buffing pads but god I got this thing out of there look at that that's gonna be awesome if somebody makes me mad I'm gonna just go whack them with this thing all this stuff came from in finish so uh, here are some scotch bright I, I don't know what you'd call these stripping wheels or polishing wheels but I got this for aluminum for my valve covers on the uh, 5.3 and they're all you know fine I think one of them's coarse though yeah here's a medium grade this is fine and this is very fine so that'll cut down real good. Hopefully it makes it easier to polish some things because they're a pain. Uh, these are some little buffing pads for like a my 90 degree angle grinder. So uh, got some sandpaper. This is 220. This is 180. And those will help. I mean I'm getting ready to use some of that 180 on my sub box. So my enclosure, whatever you want to call it. But I also ordered some 180 and some 320 cartridges or Tootsie Rolls, whatever you like to call them, for my heads. And here's where the good stuff is, which one's a nice roll lock, because these are like a special roll lock. They have metal backs, so they really grip it and rip it. Uh, a little mandrel for the polishing wheels. I just showed you the yellow ones. Um, there's one too. Wait, actually, no, that wouldn't be. That might be for a different one. But there's the one for them little wheels. You see what the screws like. And four big long six inch shank mandrels. Hold on, one second here. Uh, there you go. Look at that. That thing's huge. Nice taper. Uh, that thing's long. These should be real. Oh yeah, they're super strong. Now, back to what I was saying, I didn't finish my thought here. But these are, I think they're three or four dollars, like it's nine dollars total with shipping for one of these. From InFinish. Now, I know that everywhere else is like 12 to 18 dollars hold on one second 
12 to 18 dollars for one of these and to be honest with you that's high I thought it was high anyway so that's why I, I searched the internet over so I find the deals to show to you guys these are about nine dollars including shipping uh, could depend on where you're at but I know that's what I found them to be so I ordered four of them because really you don't know if you're gonna break one I might not break one of those but I know the one I got with another kit I snapped it the tip off it's these right here this part of the shank I snapped it right off it's it was unusable you can't just force it on here and it'll work because the tip just rolls and you don't you know cut nothing so this is what I got from in finish all this stuff uh, I have a lot to do to get my heads done which is this then I'm going to polish them. I'm probably actually going to polish them with this. I know you, I'm going to polish just the exhaust side, the intake side. You can't go any higher than 80 on for turbulence. Um, the wheels again, those are for the valve covers to get nice and polished. I got the, the big disc to throw on the bench grinder to polish the valve covers easier than hand polishing them. I already hand polished them. It sucks. So check out Infinish, especially if you're doing porting and polishing it for yourself. They have your mandrels. They have your cartridges, Tootsie Rolls, whatever you want to call them. They have your polishes. They have, I'm pretty sure, a lot more stuff that you need if you're doing any kind of metal polishing because that's what they specialize in. But you will be seeing this stuff in upcoming videos. Uh, hopefully I can make it to where it's easier for you guys to polish them valve covers on the LS because I know they suck where you have to get around all them screws wet sanding them but we'll worry about that when time comes I'm going to get started on finishing the sub box hopefully soon and then from there we will go to porting the heads which are down under the bench over there but that's where we're at. Uh, just, just a little quick video to show you where I'm at, where we're going, what we're heading toward. Uh, yeah, so thanks for watching this little quick video. Like, share, and subscribe. And go see InFinish. I'll put a link in the description of their website where you can get their stuff. And remember, their actual mandrels are cheaper, and I believe they're even thicker than the mandrel I had. Let me get one here. Let me double check that so you guys can see. Give it good views. Let's go. My wiring sucks. That's my where I'm at. Okay, let me see here if I can find a mandrel. Yeah, here it is. Okay. Look at this thing. Puny broke that tip off there but let's get a comparison side by side to infinish now I know the infinish ones are longer but so there you go as comparison I believe the infinish ones are a little bit thicker they're not polished like the these ones are. They're like these are like polished. Now these have a coarser end on it, as you can see. These are finer. I think that'll probably give you more grip in the end, but as you can see, these are a lot better than the ones that come in my kit. The kit I got, which was I think it was like forty bucks. What do you expect? I mean, what do you expect? 40 bucks. But go see Infinish. Check out my other videos. Do it now. I upgraded my internet. I will find you with my satellite and laser guide you down. So go see Infinish. Keep watching.
or else.